Kentucky Breast Up, the city bred SUV. Just what is it with the Delhi Capitals? What a performance they have been they've put in against Lucknow Super Giants. So strong at home, they've handed them their first defeat at home. In spite of Lucknow getting 160 plus, they don't usually lose from that position when they play at the Akanna Stadium. The Capitals have now beaten CSK and uh, the Super Giants to go to four points in a chase that they did with remarkable ease. Prithvi Shaw looked like the Prithvi Shaw of old. Rishabh Pant looked like the Rishabh Pant of old. It finished off with uh, Tristan Stubbs and Shea Hope in a new look overseas combination. But the star of that show and the first point we will discuss on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Rigan for timeout is that the IPL has seen a taste of things to come from Jake Fraser McGurk, a player that was mentioned on this show well before the Capitals management even thought of him as a serious member of the playing 11. And that is because <laughs> astute pundit Mitchell McClanagan said pre-tournament, go check out our pre-show, our first show of the tournament if you'd like, if you want confirmation in the outrageous picks that Fraser McGurk will score 50-plus on his IPL debut. So, you, you deserve the most sincere Thank applause you. that you've much. ever given anybody. I, I'm just, I'm a little bit upset Tom's not here. <laughs> just, to, just to really drive it home. I promise we will clip this out. We'll Perfect. send it to him. And I promise he will play it. He will plug it to his TV in the hotel room and watch it on a big screen. Perfect. Yeah, yes. on repeat. We'll yes, on repeat. Put it on a loop. We're going to show this to Tom when he's here. Tomorrow he'll be here. Perfect. We will show it. Perfect. No, oh, what an innings it yes. was, really. Um, it, it's, it's funny how the world works, right? Um, for Fraser McGurk to get an opportunity to play one-day cricket for Australia, or was David Warner retiring from the one-day format of the game, and he came in, and, and that was his opportunity to, to play T20 for Australia. Oh, sorry, one-day cricket for Australia. And then David Warner getting hit on the hand uh, kind of forced David Warner to have to try and play some different shots, and ended up in David Warner getting out and comes to the crease, Fraser McGurk, and straight away we saw second ball, he hits for six, uh, you know, striking in the power play, which is where he scores the bulk of his runs. Yes. Uh, was exceptional. And then I thought Lucknow bowled very, very well to him. It, it looked yeah. like they had a, a good plan to him, bowling wide outside off stump, taking the pace off the ball, not getting anything on the stumps to go leg side. But he was able to get through that period and, and a lot of the credit has to go to Rishabh Punt during that period. He, yeah. he, was, he controlled that p partnership and, and took a lot of pressure off. But wasn't it great to see Fraser McGurk, a, a young, exciting T20 player, uh, on his debut in IPL have a significant impact like that? Yeah, Wasim, your thoughts on watching him in the IPL for the first time and what uh, yeah. stood out most for you? I think it was exciting. Uh, very good power hitting. Uh, like Mitch said, uh, Obviously, he scores most of his runs uh, in the power play, which he did. And I thought after that, he slowed down a little bit. I mean, yeah. I think he was 19 ball 21 at one stage. Yeah. Yeah. And then he took uh, Kunal Pandya yeah. uh, on. And, and I thought Kunal Pandya just stayed away from his stump and I think played yeah. into his hand a little bit mm. uh, because he was not attacking the stump. Yeah. Didn't give enough, enough chance to himself for getting him out. Yeah. And credit to him. Uh, you know, it was wicket of his liking. I, th I think it was coming on nicely to his bat uh, and it took on his chances. He looks like a very clean striker <laughs> of the ball and Delhi needed somebody like him to, yeah. to get going so they can have their combination right. Yeah. Have we just seen like the next million dollar baby from Australia for the IPL for years to come? Yeah, I mean it'll be interesting to see. He did have a little bit of trouble it looked like against Bishnoi, against the leg spinner. But then yeah, I think for, found a way, though. Yeah, particularly so impressive was when he then took on Krunal after he had struggled a little bit against spin. You thought, okay, maybe this is the weakness, but then three sixes. My God, three I balls think he, against he Krunal. Is, he's got into Krunal's yeah. head there. Yeah. Mm. And Krunal bowling a bouncer, Krunal bowling wides to an mm. IPL debutant under teenager, isn't he still about 19, 20, or at least very young? 22 on 22, Thursday. 22, 22 yeah. beg your pardon. But yes, 22 on Thursday. It's a nice birthday week for young Fraser Magurk. But uh, that is an exceptional innings. And we wait to see. It's only the first game, but he's made a serious impression. And we will take your questions and comments to the panel too on what you think. I'd love to ask you, take some time. I will ask you whether Fraser McGurk is a serious consideration for a retention ahead of the big auction. Right? And whether that's something they will just monitor with the rest of the season. Uh, let's talk about Rishabh Pant in the partnership. Very significant innings. Wasim? Yeah, I thought uh, he played really well. Uh, complimented Fraser McGurk and, and took on his chances, which, which we all know. Uh, but he... 
hit the shots uh, to the different areas that we don't know, you know, over cover. Yeah. Uh, on the leg side, we all know, uh, but the reverse scoop, which you had uh, <laughs> mentioned like before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we have to give Dustin credit. Yeah. Dustin yeah. also is on I mean, fire today. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He got the yeah, it's a scoop. shot. It's a shot he likes to play. So I thought, yeah, he yeah. might try. I didn't expect him to try it off Stoyanis, who doesn't give you much pace. But yeah. but he yeah. also did something differently. Porel was sent in early in the chase last game, and Pant mm, ended yeah. up coming in very late. Today, Pant almost took initiative. Yeah. And I think it was a good move uh, because you needed somebody who's experienced and and as he's playing more and more game, he's he's looking like he's coming back uh, to his you know best form. Yeah. And I think that was a good decision. He came and eased everything out. And played the spin really well. Yeah. yeah, that's the big one, isn't it? Because Bishno is the threat for this yeah. team when sort of it's not that it wasn't the previous surfaces where Kunal Pandey was effective. So even though he's en ended up going for just 25, Andy eventually has got Punt's wicket. There's a straight six, I think, and just the ability of Punt's to counter Lucknow's biggest threat was a big part of that game in the chase. Yeah, it was a massive part. It really was. And and the fact that he's, he assessed pretty quickly that uh, Fraser McGurk was struggling against Bishnoi. Uh, he took a majority of the strike, yeah. and I thought he controlled that part of the innings particularly well. And geez, he's he's just really just got up to speed in the IPL so quickly, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, and it was nice to see that they put him up the order because it was that type of day where you needed a senior batter at the crease uh, yeah. with a lot of experience, and obviously you're missing Mitchell Marsh from this lineup at the moment. So. Uh, it was a great decision from the management. All right, good questions coming through. So, please keep them going on our YouTube live. Um, this is on Kunal Pandya's sixth over, whether it changed the momentum of the game. Yeah, there was a there was a period also where Fraser McGurk was 16 of 7, then run a ball 21 or 22, and then came the over where he just blazed away with three sixes. He, Dustin brought up a very good observation before we started on on the overall impact of Kunal Pandya and Marcus Stoinis. Yeah, because they couldn't use the impact player. They couldn't use a bowler as the impact player because they had used Huda. Yes. So they couldn't have Siddharth. And then Krunal has gone for a lot of runs. And even that Stoinis over, even though it was just 10, I think they had bowled 29 balls without a boundary. And then Panth took on Bishnoi in one over. And then the very next over was Stoinis, mm. where Panth got 10. And that kind of gave Delhi all the momentum they needed. So. Yeah, I mean, this now perhaps takes us back to whether they pulled the trigger too soon for Huda. And we made a case for why they did it. But that bowling, did they somewhere think they had enough bowling? But Siddharth was a big miss. He could have been handy. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was uh, way too soon. Uh, I, and, you know, Deepak Huda is not the guy probably you need to go and send yeah. him that early. Mm. And the kind of cricket that he's playing, I, I thought, uh, you know, he didn't play his part really well. He, yeah. the, the shot that he played at that stage. Yeah. Uh, Siddharth has, has done really well with the new ball. I think he would have been handy on this pitch. Mm. So they could have used Toynis or even Navin Ulhak in the later overs and, yeah. and put on that squeeze. And yeah. Kunal Pandya had to come and bowl in the power play. Yeah. So I think it messed up their plan a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is from Mohammed uh, Masfian Mrida with Rishabh's excellent form, especially in the middle overs and now a high strike rate. Is he an obvious choice for the World Cup for India? Let's go back to that. Wasim? Feels like there's been this question at least 20 times. Yeah, yeah, but we'll keep taking it. <laughs> that's because he keeps on performing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's why we're yeah. not we're not saying oh, you know, we're not talking about anyone else. We're talking about Richard Punt yeah. because he's going so well. So yeah. look, hey, he's right up there in the conversation. He, if not out of those keepers, he's probably first on the plane at the moment. Yep, I think Samson and and Punt probably at this point of time, those are the two keepers I'm taking. Yeah, one who can finish and one who can be cover for your top order. I don't mind that at all. He also got out in the most Rishabh Pant way today. Bat flying out of his hand and getting stuff. Yeah. It was just a... And nearly so taking out another way for contender to, with him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> taking it all out. Yeah. In Vasim, no Jitesh? I mean, I'm talking about the current, current form. form. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's keep it going. This also answers Prime the Poet. Uh, wanting to know from Vasim whether Pant's place is uh, sealed in the World Cup squad. We're getting closer and closer. We're now mid-April and that squad has to be announced by the 1st of May, so we shall wait and see how things go. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Vignesh, in spite of Delhi winning, is the death bowling still a concern? 94 for 7 to 167. Will this continue with the balance that they went with and how can they improve on it? I think what I've seen in the last few games is when they've had teams on the rope with the ball, they haven't tried to be aggressive enough in that middle phase. They've almost forced themselves to like, keep bowlers for the 18th, 19th, 20th because they're worried about that, where in actual fact today they could have really gone for the jugular 
And they, they could have and should have bowled them out for 130. Yeah. So they needed to make decisions to try and achieve bowl him now for 130 yeah. as opposed to keeping guys for the back end. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Wasim, stays though, this combination, all Indian bowling lineup and all overseas batting lineup. There's also a few questions on Shea Hope here, who's done the job of just finishing the game, but whether that seems like a bit of a redundancy now to have a yeah, batter I like Shea Hope. They need to stick team. with this. Uh, only thing is the bowlers need to bowl a little bit better. Uh, even though Khalil is not known to bowl well in the death, uh, Ishant is, is somebody you can go to uh, mm. with his experience, even though he lacks space. And Mukesh has an off day, I would say. Uh, you know, generally he bowls well in the death. Mm. So I think this is a good template. Kuldeep is, is a very vital cog in that bowling yeah, attack. Yeah, what a difference he's made. Yeah, so today, you know, they had this kind of day because of Kuldeep. Uh, otherwise, yeah. it would have been a big struggle to get that sixth bowler on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because as soon as Puran came in, Rishabh Pant asked the sixth bowler to you know warm himself. I don't know who it was. Probably Tristan Stubbs we talked about. Yeah. I mean, yeah. everything happened, right? Kuldeep yeah. got the big fish, Stoyness and Puran. Then mm -hmm. the impact sub got activated. It yeah. reduced Lucknow's chances. They still got a good score. Yeah. But Kuldeep has triggered a series of events now that have you know, put his team in a stronger side. So... And when Kuldeep didn't play, we, we saw what, yeah. what happened with uh, DC. So, he's such an important part mm. in I that mean, bowling attack. DC's a bowling attack was looking like probably one of the weakest in the tournament. Yeah. And then one bowler comes one bowler. back in Kuldeep and suddenly it looks so much better. Yeah. And this is against one of the form batting yeah. sides. Mm. Yeah. Not against a team that's struggling themselves. So, this wasn't easy. Right, very interesting. Um, would you like to remind the, the loyal timeout watching viewership that RCB will now be bottom? Because I don't want to say that. I think you already have. But yeah, they will be bottom, unfortunately. I just feel so bad, man. I love, I love the following they get. And then oh. this is what happens. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard. <laughs> All right. Uh, there is a good question, though, on Devdat Padikal. Now that we look at other aspects where uh, Lucknow perhaps need to... This could really bite Lucknow later on. For a team. It could be a very close playoffs race. And Padikal is something that... It's not only that he's not getting runs, Vaseem. He is... It's almost one of those series where you remember the likes of, say, Maxwell or Ashton Turner yeah. when they had four, five single-digit scores in a row and that doesn't all go well for a big trade player. Yeah. And I mean, he had a decent first-class season. Mm. He had a good test match debut. Absolutely. And, you know, to, for him to play like that, he's looking all at sea, getting caught on the crease uh, and getting out like that. It's, it's really surprising. I mean, probably... What would, the, what would you do with him? I mean, imagine he's a good player. You know, you mentioned the form yeah. he's come in with. How do you kind of get him firing? I mean, he's, he's not playing enough balls, obviously. Uh, he's getting out as soon as he gets there. He hasn't had a, a 20 or, or a 25. He's getting out yeah. in the single digit. So, I mean, it's, it's a difficult one. Whether you stick with him or you look at Deepak Huda and give him a, a, a bigger yeah. run, probably does, is the does only he strike one. strike you as the kind of batter we normally say openers can bat at three, but some openers can't. Yes. Hmm. I think that's yeah. a very good point. Yeah. I, I think if you're wanting to still have him, if he's still one of your best six batters, I think you're wanting to try and get the best out of him. And from what I've seen from him in the past, he's batted very well opening. And yeah. so maybe you do have to look at Quinton de Kock and him Oof. opening. I, I know I know, he's, I know, they're both yeah. left-handers. Um, but then KL to three yeah. to take a bit more ownership over that, that, that role. And that might just free him up a little bit because it's like three or four or five. You mm. come in in different situations all the time. And when you're an opener, there's far less pressure on you. Yeah. You ask yeah. any batter in T20 cricket, where do they want to bat? Even if they're a number six, number seven, they want to open. They know it's the easiest place it's to open. It's also psychological. I think it's getting... Yeah, it's what, happen, what happens if, he, no if, he, if they allow him to open and he fails again? Yeah. Yeah. Then what do you do? Well, then that's it. You've I mean, got, you have to almost put him to there and give that, him right? more games again. Hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, it gets trickier. And yes. I, I mean, who are their domestic batters who are competing? Huda yeah, is not I mean, really shown. Only, yeah, it's only really Huda and I think... Uh, is there any other name? I think that so you've got to yeah. find a way to, yeah. to get him yeah. to, to perform. And, and maybe that is it. Because there's far less pressure opening. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, you know, then you've probably got to give him a few more games there. But, yeah, I, I just think that's the only way you're going to free him up. Yeah. It's yeah, just, I, mean, I think it's unlikely after the way Rahul yeah, played today, course. which we haven't mentioned much. But actually, Rahul's innings mm. was really important for LSG yeah. to at least have a decent run rate in the first... But it's also a win-win for KL Rahul, right? Because... Yeah. If he's going to play in the World Cup, he's going to bat yeah, number three, or yeah. be cover for number three, right? Yeah, so sure. like he's not going to be, he's not going to open. Mm. So yeah. then for him, like he's going into a role that he may have to play in a World Cup, um, and then also it's going to help his team. So that's 
it's an interesting decision to watch. Yeah, what's also I'm just running through the squad. They do not have an obvious top order batter. There. They did not go shopping for that either. So Prerak Mankad is yeah. an all-round option and middle order batter. Uh, Arshin Kulkarni, Arshin Kulkarni yeah. who's an under-19 player. Yeah. So yeah. you know, they, I mean, they played Prerak last season and, did. and he yes. did okay. Uh, and he, it is it is between Deepak Huda and Prerak Mankad. So yeah. hmm. somebody you got to pick and probably give a, a a little bit longer rope, like three or four games. And then hope for the best. All yeah. right. Uh, thank you very much for sending in those questions. And there are some very spicy ones which I might take just before I wrap the show up. Show up on whether <laughs> Delhi can still turn this around and make the playoffs, <laughs> or whether Lucknow are this this defeat. And I know that even in the last game there were questions and comments on the lines of, are Lucknow that good, or will they be exposed with time? And I don't know if today is a reflection of you know how they are vulnerable, much more vulnerable than we perhaps imagine. But anyway. Let's do a rapid fire review first of this game. Everyone knows the drill. 20 seconds uh, to just summarize this game. Uh, let me start the start with you, Mitch. Was Kuldeep Yadav the difference, the biggest difference between the two sides tonight? 20 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. I think Kuldeep Yadav's return for Delhi was the biggest impact on the game from any bowler, any player that we saw tonight. And to get the three key wickets of Marcus Stoinis, uh, Nicholas Puran, and then Kao Raul, that was the, that was the game-winning moment. All right. Um, Wasim, the all-Indian bowling attack with four overseas batters, is this a sustainable overseas combination for Delhi going forward? 20 seconds. I think it will be for now, uh, but uh, their medium pacers have to bowl a lot better. Uh, I think this is the best way going forward for them. All right. Dustin, this one you will enjoy. You brought it up. Three overs for 45. Why was Kunal Pandya as ineffective today and how did it cost LSG? Well, I think... They just went after him. That's the big difference. And probably just having the bowling combination they did where he was the fifth bowler rather than the sixth option. Normally, they have Siddharth bowling a few overs up top and Kunal just bowls in different phases. Here, there was more pressure on him as the only left-arm spinner and maybe that's why he got taken down. All right. Brilliant. And he was taken down by Jake Fraser McGurk and I have reserved that question <laughs> to his godfather on the show, <laughs> Mitch McLanagan. Mitch, please rate Jake Fraser McGurk's debut IPL innings. 20 seconds. I think it's probably an eight and a half. I, I think he struggled a little bit in the middle, but what we saw in and around that at the start and at the end of his innings was what we're going to see for five, six, ten, maybe even 15 years in a row in the IPL. He's high quality, he's explosive, and he, geez, he's bloody exciting. <laughs> All right, Awasim, let's not forget Ayush Badoni's knock. Please rate that. And is this why Lucknow have continued to persist with him? 20 seconds. I think he played really well, played out of his skins. Uh, at no stage, it looked like they'll reach 167. Yeah. I think it was because of his and Arshad's partnership, but mainly Ayush Badoni. And I think he's played quite a few cameos like that. And he's, he's a talent. He surprises me with uh, his stroke-making ability, batting at especially at number six or seven. Okay. Now, the last one, I'm just going to do yes or no for the whole panel, right? Rishabh Pant knocking the door down for the T20 World Cup selection. Yes. 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 All right. Delhi Capitals will make the playoffs. No. 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 Lucknow. So <laughs> Why'd you laugh? It's <laughs> not so funny, mate. There's some Delhi Capitals. Know, yeah. yeah. There are some. Just yeah. <laughs> let it so well. Lucknow Super Giants. Lucknow Super Giants will regret this defeat come the end of the league stage, and they'll just miss out on the playoffs, and they look back at this game. Lucknow to not make the playoffs. Anyone? Ooh, no. They will make it. They will, yeah. yes. It's a double negative now. I'm it confused because, what I asked yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, Lucknow we'll will make still make the playoffs. Make They're fine. They'll make the playoffs. They'll make the playoffs. Uh, okay, I'll just say no, just to be different. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> still rooting for Gujarat, Gujarat Titans. Gujarat Titans, Mumbai Indians will sneak up the table. Oh, so, you have two of them sneaking up. Rajasthan yeah. are already up. Yeah. KKR are also up. Yeah. CSK yeah. then will not I have. It. No CSK? No, CSK is... I'm going to stick... I made you these predictions to the three tournament. <laughs> CSK, MIGT and... Uh, who's the third? The What's RR. That's what I... <laughs> Dustin, I'm unfortunately... <laughs> what about SRH? Yeah. Your innings <laughs> no. is finished. There's only like four. Innings. There's only four that can make it. So, those are the four. It's like how you started like Kuldeep Yadav on the show today and you finished <laughs> like the Delhi Seamers. <laughs> on that note, uh, let's find out how the panel fared as we revisit the impacts. Okay, what's going on over here? Let's have a look. Oh my Dustin. God. You know what? Dustin. 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 
He has just taken this cup and he's going to go and leave now for two weeks, I think. Dustin, well done, man. Yeah, everything rested. I realized I picked three Delhi players in a game where they were underdogs. Yeah. That's yeah. the key. And might I also point out, let's look at that again, please. Can we see? That yeah. I have actually finished <laughs> second. Well done, man. <laughs> this, this by ah. picking after Play everybody. Dustin, That's not they missed bad. that. Let's no. come back to the... Uh, to the uh, <laughs> Mitch, so you were minus in two again. Yeah. So when that was yeah. being done, I did the Dustin, <laughs> well done. Yeah. Are you, they're missing it. Dustin, well done, man. Oh, now well we've done. got it. There we go. Hold on. Can we, oh, the just for that win, can you get that picture up again? That, that point you want it again? Because because don't do Mitch, it I just want a, a close-up in on Dustin's face with the same expression <laughs> he's got on there. That's... Can, can, can you get that? Zoom in on Dustin and get... See but that, that, is, that, is, that, expression. that is Dustin smiling. I hey? hope you know. Yeah, he's that got, is Dustin. He's got, that is yes, Dustin smiling. Dustin happy. There you go, mate. Okay. happy to be involved in the game. Really, well done, Dustin. Really, really well done. And as it turns out, um, he takes the points for the day. But you have got a significant score. 50 points. Jake Fraser McGurk. Yeah, 50 and points. you can rub that in when Tom Moody joins us tomorrow. Thank you. And Wasim Jafar will be there as well. Dustin, thanks so much, man. I will see you again very soon, hopefully, on this couch. Okay. Okay, he doesn't know that. <laughs> he doesn't know that. But always good to have you. And uh, wonderful to have you with your comments and thoughts as well. This is a big result in the context of the race of the playoffs. Maybe it'll turn Delhi season around. Maybe it'll not come to bite luck now. But these kind of uh, results is why the league phase remains very interesting. Tomorrow is another big one, Rajasthan against Punjab, especially with how uh, results have gone for both those two teams in their last game. So, build up for that. Around the toss on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Cricket for Time Out. Do download the mobile app if you haven't already. It'll have you covered with uh, everything. And it's nice to see that in spite of what was a brilliant innings by Fraser McGurk, Kuldeep Yadav has been adjudicated as player of the match in Lucknow. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Press up the city bread SUV.